What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. We're about an hour late today. I went out to do a podcast that I'll let you know once it's live, when it's live, what it's about. Um, and so I've just got back from London today right now. And so uh, let's get into the content for today. We will start with the objectives. Have we got anything new in live? No, we have not. Have we got anything new in seasonal? We're actually getting quite close to the end of... Oh, my bad. We're actually getting quite close to the end of the seasonal content now as well aren't we or the end of the season now not too too long left uh milestones unless we've uh got anything new here which we have not and of course nothing in foundations if you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in fc24 go to u7buy.com to buy your eafc24 coins it's cheaper than buying fc points and just as reliable they already offer some of the best prices out there but you can get an extra six percent off using promo code nep at checkout and so with that guys let's see if we have got anything in evolutions we are expecting some trailblazer evos. There is nothing new in evolutions either, unfortunately. And so uh, store and SBC is what it's going to be. I've got 10 of the 80 plus packs that is here from today. Uh, we've got the deluxe trailblazers pack and premium season opener packs still there. And of course, we've got our premium gold pack as a review pack. What have we got? Nothing worth anything in there. So let's have a little look at the SBCs then, guys. As I say, the 80 plus uh, is there. Have we got any new players today? We've got Son, Liao, Bergvine, Bellerin, Dynamic Duos, Benini, Saar, Rice, Kubo, Jimenez, Van der Sanden, and Angelina. So no new players today. In terms of the upgrade, it's just the 80 plus. No, it's not. We've also got a Prime Bronze Players upgrade. So for a Prime Bronze Players pack, I guess this is to try and get my new. Um, that's a that's a madness to be fair, isn't it? You got to submit a bronze squad with three rares to get back a prime bronze player pack. I mean, you get back twelve players, six rares, six commons. Um, so it it's it's an upgrade, which is good for me, eh? I suppose. And then we've also got the prime silver upgrade pack as well uh, that you should just be completing every day because it's like a free shot at one of the uh, the good selling bronzes or silvers. There's probably uh, a handful of silvers, especially the right backs from like big clubs or with lots of pace. And then from the bronzes, there's like maybe like three or four players. I think Rico Lewis is selling and a few others. Other than that, there's nothing there. We have got Trailblazers Challenge 2. This is for a mega pack. It is untradeable, the mega pack. It's going to require an 80 rated team with 31 chemistry, four rares, one club minimum three, countries or regions maximum two, first owned players minimum three. I don't know if this is EA's way of trying to make cards sell for something, but I honestly think most people will have this just untradeable in their club. You know, you just take one league and one nation from said league. Premier League in English is obviously really healthy, really easy, but you can also do German from the Bundesliga, Spanish from the Spanish League, which is also very, very good, and French from the French League, which is also very, very good. And for 11 players, untradeable, 80 rated, which is the SBC is probably like, like 8,000 coins. For an untradeable mega pack, it's not too bad. The only thing I would suggest that you do in this challenge, guys, is do your very best to use untradeable players in the challenge. And then for icons, I heard the rumors and I saw the leaks. Laurent Blanc. This card is brilliant, right? 6-4, medium high, 2-star, 3-star is incredible. He can play centre-back and cam. That's such a wild uh, extra position, isn't it? Do you know why I actually really like the, the cam spot for him? as an extra alternative position because there are some players that you could start in defense that are better suited in midfield that you can now kind of swap with Blanc in the game and start him at cam without having to like find some weird way to start five at the back or three at the back or something. So that's really cool. Um, his pace is good. His defending is great. His physical is very good. His dribbling is very good. His passing is good. Um, and then of course he has got jockey Anticipate Plus, which is a mad playstyle, especially for a defender. Bruiser and Aerial. Now, for somebody with uh, Aerial and six foot four, with 76 jumping and 84 heading accuracy, it's just, it's a very good card. The question is, how expensive is it? So, it's a bronze squad, 11 rares, 
which is probably going to make that bronze SBC upgrade a little bit even more valuable as well. A silver squad with 11 rares. A gold squad that's just a gold squad for a, a lot, five game loan. So you better, you know, you might as well just get that loan, put him in your team, try him out before anything and see if you want him. Um, and then the first squad is an 80 rated with an inform and a Marseille player for a small Electrum players pack. We have got an 84 rated, which is also very cheap with a French player for a small Prime Electrum players pack. An 85 with a Premier League player for a small Prime Gold players pack. An 86 with an inform for a Premium Gold pack. We've got players pack, sorry, and then a rare electron players pack for an 88 rated. Can't help but think that's really, really good value. It's there for 53 days as well. I think, other than the 88 rated squad, the rest of that is like an absolute breeze to put together compared to like Beckham, who kind of like requires an 88 and, and an 87 within inform and two 86s. This Blanc feels Really, really cheap. And then, of course, in the upgrade section, we do have the 80-plus upgrade that requires six golds, just one uh, just one rare in there. And we have got 10, 10 of those to open before we go ahead and look at uh, Laurent Blanc on the, um, on, the, uh, on the old foot bin. So we're going to be starting with Zambo and Giza. Not ideal, but not too bad. 83 rated. Man, I'm a little... I'm... I'm I'm very impressed slash surprised that that Blanc price. It, it means one of two things, right? It means either it's Gonzalo Ramos. It means either EA don't think he's very good in game, or everyone's just going to have an insane centre back in their team. That's that's effectively what it means. That's going to be uh, what is that Juan Cuadrado, eighty rated this year. He'll undoubtedly get a couple of SBCs along the way, won't he? He's one of uh, EA's favourites. Next up, we've got Spain. Cam, what is that? Danny Olmo. I'm going to guess Danny Olmo. It's Sanse, not Danny Olmo. A duplicate, untradeable, unfortunately, as well. We've then got another 80-plus rare gold player pack. If it's not a special, I don't really care. It's French, mind you. It's Mbok. 83 is just discard price at the moment. What I do like about that Blanc card as well, or the SBC in general, maybe not so much the card, is that that sort of SBC will spike the price points of golds, of 80 rateds, of 83s and 84s. Like having an 80 rated squad in there is just smart for me. Eh? It gives value to players like Pepe. Might not be crazy value. It's still discard price, I think, because there's such an oversupply of players like him at the moment. Still discard price, but we talked about this before, and I think EA would do well to actually put a lot of SBCs having a lot of just gold squads in. I can imagine Blanc had like instead of the 88, which is what like 50, 60k for an SBC, just throw in another like six gold squads, start wiping people out of their gold fodder, and get the price points going up a little bit. We are going to get Wamba Saka in there with an 83 rated card as well. Oh, sorry, he's 80 rated this year. My bad. And then last but not least from these packs, it's not going to be a special card again. It's going to be Scotland though, although there's a whole bunch of Scottish players. Kieran Tierney, like Kieran Tierney, that aren't very good uh, in game. And then, uh, yeah, for the SBCs, let's have a look. This upvoted nice, this upvoted nice, this upvoted nice. How much is it? 410k. What is his price on the market? Or rather, what was his price on the market? So he was about 500k on PC and about 410k on console. That's actually quite surprising. I think there's only one chem style for him and it's going to be a shadow. Gives him great pace, great defending. He's a 92 rated centre back with very good physicals and very good play styles and a very good play style plus. This really just might be one of the best SBCs so far this year. This might be the best SBC this so far this year. With an anchor, he's also very, very good. Because he can play a cam, <laughs> maybe a dead eye. Makes him a 77 rated cam. Better than some of my Evo cards, that's for sure. Um, but no, I'd absolutely be going for a shadow on Laurent Blanc, guys. Let me know if you're going to complete that SBC or if you completed it already. Thank you, for, of course, always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.